What's going on? Move the Mouse here, back in City Skylines. For those of you that have been following my latest series, we will be returning to the town of Lakefield at some point, but I wanted to kick off a new Let's Play and just start building a city from scratch and have some fun with it. So the map that I had my eye on was Arid Plains. I, I loaded up a bunch of the maps and I think I want to build something here. So we'll just keep the default Rockdale name, playing no cheats, all legit, and right-hand traffic because left-hand traffic just confuses me. For those of you in the UK, some of the design decisions that I make might want to invert if you are a left-hand driver, but we're going to be building out with a really effective grid to start. So we're just, rather than kind of go free form like I did in my last city, I really want to build off of a grid and make things uh, functional from a traffic perspective even before we have to deal with those problems. First thing we're going to do, we're going to pause the game so we're not spending any money maintaining roads that people aren't driving on. Uh, we're going to do one tiny little length of road because when we build that, that unlocks our one ways. It also unlocks, as soon as you build a road, the four lane roads and the six lane roads. And we're going to be using the six lane roads because I hate the lights on those four lane roads. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come out to 20 units at an angle of 135 degrees, which is 90 plus 45. We're going to do the same thing over here. Oh, I did it with the uh, the, the two-way roads. I meant to do that with the one-way roads, so we'll just switch that out after the fact. But the reason that we're doing 135 here is this creates a nice 45-degree angle on and off the highway. Let's upgrade this road over here before I forget. So that is a one-way, and then we'll swap the direction on this one. So now we've got a route on and off the highway. Now, we don't need this kind of support early on, but what I want to do is I want to build for futures and lots of traffic. So we're going to do a six lane road here. It's kind of our main artery. It's going to be our main street right there. And we're going to build 20 units out this way. I think we can fit that. Yep. And I'm going to build 30 units out this way. So until we can expand our area on the left, things are going to be a little tight over here but we're gonna start our grid system and get a nice network for our neighborhoods down below. So let's build down two big lines, that's 20 units to start. And we're basically gonna keep expanding this grid as we go. But I've got a little idea here for a neighborhood that we can do and kind of reduce some of the traffic on the main road. So this is gonna be all residential traffic, residential areas here. And we're going to basically zone as much as we can without going back up to that main road because we want to minimize intersections on that main uh, that main street up there. We're going to do the same thing over here. Come out 10 units up as far as we can where we won't overlap too much zoning. Come over another 10 and again. And we're going to go over here, but we're not going to build that road up because that's going to be another six lane avenue. Basically, we're going to have these really large roads that run all the way around our neighborhoods. So this we can connect and you'll kind of get a sense for for what this looks like once I unlock uh, a little bit, once we earn a little bit more money and uh, and can build out this road system a little bit more. But we'll grid this off for now probably a little more than we need to do. We'll stop there, and then we're going to do a little zone up here for our industrial. I'm going to come out 11 units, because that will let me overlap some zoning a little bit better. I'm going to stop right there, because I don't want to eat up into my angled road there too much. We're going to come all the way out to there. And we'll do one more street for now. And that should give us just enough room to come up over the highway. Let me just double check. Yeah, we should be good there. So we'll actually build our industrial north of the highway. We'll start with a little pocket right here, but then we're going to move it up and over to that area. Okay, so we've got some really basic roads. Let's plunk down some zones. And we want things to kind of start together so we don't have to route a lot of uh, electric. So we're just going to start with this uh, this middle block here. 
I am going to zone out here, but if you do this, something you need to be aware of, and I forgot one little piece of road, we need a little turnaround up here, so that if we have, say, a fire on this block, the uh, fire department doesn't have to go all the way down the highway, turn around, come back. Like, they won't be able to get there if there isn't this little turnaround. So this prevents people from having to leave the city on the highway to come back to get back in here. So we've got that, and now we'll zone out some industrial over here. And I actually want to mix and match a little bit, so let's bring out our selection tool. And let's split this block in half. We'll do industrial on that side, and we'll do commercial on Main Street. It can go four units back there, these low densities. So we've got all that. We will cram our power plant in. Hmm. Let's go as close to the highway as possible. And then the last thing we need to worry about is water. So we'll put our pump there. And our sewage I normally would put a little further away, but just to save on some money so we don't have to run too much electric and pipe. We will do that. We'll bring this pipe out to, say, the center of our city. That we can start a nice grid off of this. Let's actually see if I can get a good snap point here, because I'm not liking the angles. I'm going to try and get that as straight as possible. Just to make it easier to network stuff. Now, to cover this neighborhood, if you come over with $440 worth of pipe, you get this perfect overlap, just a little bit of overlap without having to waste too much pipe to cover all your areas there. So we'll just go all the way up to the highway here. I don't think we can squeeze 440 in there, so we'll just cover the rest of the zoning that we have. And then we'll run some electric and we will start our city. See if we can squeeze that right in there. Since we're not zoning this space, that would be perfect. And we'll come over here to our pipes and then we'll see where people move in first because we may not need to spread power that far. So I don't want to have to uh, run a bunch of lines and dezone a bunch of area just to make that happen. We got $6,000 in the bank. It's not a lot, but it should be an effective start for our city. So we'll go ahead and speed things way up. We're going to lose money. We might go into the negative, but this will be a successful start. And the big thing here is this grid that I'm planning out is really designed for future expansion. So it should solve a lot of our congestion problems. The biggest thing that we're going to have to deal with... Let me run some power down here for right now. Try and overlap as little as possible. There we go. So commercial moved in right there in the center. What I was hoping for. That looks pretty good. That shouldn't eat up too much of our zoning, and that should help spread power through our city. But I was saying that the big thing about this is really planning for future expansion. So as we unlock some more money, we're going to continue to extend out this grid system. And once I surround one of these blocks, you'll kind of see what I have in mind. But these are all residential areas, so the residential traffic and the needs are very different from commercial or very different from industrial. So industrial is going to have a lot of trucks. We are going to clog up this side of our city probably a little bit at first with the trucks coming in and out and then wanting to get back out to the highway. But with this grid system that we're putting in place, it should be really effective. And we have these little neighborhoods that are tucked away and it minimizes the uh, intersections, which is going to help with traffic down the road. So let's let that play out for a little bit. The milestone we're waiting to hit is 500. So hopefully with what we've done here, it will give us enough. We can start to zone out some of these other neighborhoods now. We're going to have to bulldoze a few houses to uh, complete our road network, but that is okay. They'll move back in.
So we are still losing money, but we're losing money less. So we are climbing back towards the positive. We're still in the red, but as you can see, as more people move in, uh, we're getting closer and closer to where we need to be. We're going to have to extend our pipe coverage as soon as we hit that, uh, that 500 mark. There we go. And we've also unlocked garbage, healthcare, and education. So we will pause the game real quick. Over to economy. We'll take out our first loan. And don't forget, this is your first chance to raise taxes and get a little bit more money for the city. I find that 12% is a nice little sweet spot. Um, so let's fix our bit of pipe that's missing over here for this neighborhood. Because that's a priority. We don't want people moving out already. Not unless we bulldoze their houses. There's that tiny little pocket of water that isn't covered there. Just because. I want to make sure everybody's covered nice. So we've got that. Let's get a dump in. Can we sneak it in here? We can. It's going to eat up a lot of our industry space. Uh, but that's okay, because we're going to expand that out to the north soon enough. We'll find a spot for healthcare. Let's go right there. And our first elementary school. So taxes, we took out our loan, garbage, healthcare, education, and we are good to go. As you can see, we've got a little bit of money from that uh, population bump. But before I build out our roads, I, I'm just going to kind of let it uh, do its thing and try and even out the, um, the money here a bit. Let's do this. Before, let's pause it again real quick. Before we get too far ahead, I do want to build out one block of this and zone it out officially. Oh, I did it with the four lane roads and right away you can see this is why I don't like those roads is because of that that light that color of the light just it doesn't jive well with me so I'd rather do the six lane roads um, we'll bring this one down to if we have enough money for this it's gonna be a little tight but this will allow us to complete one kind of uh, block, one neighborhood, if you will, of what I have in mind. And I'll, I'll be able to explain as they move in and, and fill this out, kind of what's going on here. But by providing this larger network of six lane roads, you get these nice, fast moving avenues that take us around the city. And then within these neighborhoods, we have the two lane streets. But you'll notice again, they're, they're not running up against the cross streets right the the ones that run west to east here they are kind of tying in here and here for those north to south avenues but this helps reduce the intersections gives you some pretty good density people are going to move in all over these blocks um, but it enables us to cover a lot of area and have a really fast moving effective road network and we're basically just going to kind of stamp out that pattern once we get the landscaping tool i do want to cut back some of this terrain a bit and flatten it out because I really want to make this a densely populated area and, and try and do as much as we can with this first tile. But landscaping tools are pretty expensive, so we'll see kind of how that works out. Um, our next population milestone is at 1,000. We'll get a nice little uh, money bump, ability to take out a loan, some new services, um, and we can take pause there and kind of see where things are at. But right now, there's only residential demand. We got a little bit of commercial climbing up. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll make Main Street commercial, in fact. Let's do something real quick. I didn't think of this at the time. Usually what I like to do is keep residents off of that, that Main Street. So let's actually dezone some of these people and move them out before it becomes an issue later. And we'll make that commercial. Sorry, thank you for moving in. Hopefully you'll be back soon. 
So we're in the green now. We're making some money. We lost a couple citizens because of the uh, the dezoning up there, but it keeps residents off of this road, which keeps people's driveways off of this road. And, and although there are businesses that people are stopping at, um, it should keep things moving along really nicely. You could dezone that first square on, on some of your main streets if you don't want buildings and traffic uh, as much moving in on that main road. Uh, but for right now, we should be fine there. This should get us up to the uh, the 1,000 mark, and again, get us a nice bump in um, money and uh, population. I'm kind of fix these as we go. I do have a little bit of a dead zone here in the middle, but that's okay. Fill that in with some trees. That's even just enough room if we wanted to run a uh, train through the city. It's not the easiest thing to snake it through here, but it is possible. It's a lot easier with the uh, the cloverleaf uh, intersections that you unlock later on. See what's going on with our water coverage here. Didn't extend that down here, so again, $440. And just the right amount of overlap there. Looks like we've got good coverage there. Good healthcare coverage. Good school coverage for now, although that is filling up really quickly. We'll, we'll drop some more schools uh, in our neighborhoods here. Once we start to expand those out some more. But we're quickly approaching that thousand mark. And again, that'll get us a nice little bump in money and the ability to take out a second loan as well, too. So let's just kind of knock these things out as we go. I'll pause real quick. Into economy. We'll take out that second loan. So we've got a nice little pile of cash. And let's find a spot for our fire. Nice and centrally located. And we'll put the police right next to it. I think we unlocked high school too at that level. No, is that the next level? 1600, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and hit play. And with that cash that we have, let's build out at least one more block. And maybe start to work over here. Uh, on that block as well, too. Again, by doing this sort of a setup, we're, we're minimizing those crossroads. Where is that bump? Sorry, it's so tough to see in the dark. That's as far as we're going to want to go south until we do some landscaping. Because I don't want these roads to get all bumpy. It's pretty flat right there, and then there's a little hill that picks up right there. Let's connect that over. Connect that. One more block of six lane there. And why don't we do one more here, too? Just to kind of even things out, because there still is some pretty good residential demand happening. So we'll plan on... Oh, okay. I screwed up there. I was like, why is that not lining up with the neighborhood next door? Because this one... is the one that should have the non-intersecting street. There we go. We'll zone that out real quick so that while we're continuing to build, hopefully people will keep moving in and we can just keep spreading our power down to the south. So let's finish off that little bit of road network. Right there. 
and there. One wasted zone of overlap there because of the size of the road that we're sitting next to. The six lane roads just eat up more of that zoning space. But that's okay. It still gives us some good room to kind of expand into down here. Um, so we're growing fast. So fast that I think we've already reached capacity on our first power plant. So let's start our way across the highway. And then we'll start a new road network here. We'll come out 30 units or so. Give us a little bit of room to expand. Give us a couple blocks out. We don't have a lot of space on the left side here because we're right up on the edge of the map. So I'm going to wait and not zone that half of the street yet until we can move in there. Let's throw in a second power plant. We'll tuck it right in there. We've got a dump. So let's zone out this piece to meet that industrial demand. And you know what? We're good to go there. We'll hit play. We've got power. That should spread to the city. There we go. And we need to start coming up with more area for commercials. So let's start expanding this way. We hit our 1600 milestone. We're going to want to drop in a high school and then start expanding the commercial area there towards the highway. We're going to do the same thing. And I just want to double check that this will let me run under the highway there, which is nice. So let's come out. You know what? Let's just come out to there. You know what? Hold on. We'll come down to. We'll build our same little block structure. So we'll come out here. Just far enough so that we're not dezoning anybody. And then we'll go out as far as we can towards the highway. On those same blocks. We're gonna knock out our power here. For a minute, let's pause. Fill all this in with commercial. And yeah, let's definitely move this this power because it's preventing me from zoning in there the way I want to right now. And now we can connect it to the other side of the highway. Uh, play and we'll zone off the rest of this. That's fine for now. So that should meet our commercial demand. We've got to start meeting more of our residential. So while we have some money in the bank, and since we've unlocked them, let's bring out our landscaping tool. And what we want to do is I'm going to go to the, what is it called? Level terrain tool. I knew where it was. I just didn't know the name of it. We'll set the strength all the way to high and the size all the way up. I'm going to define this. We're going to make a nice little flat segment so we can at least finish this block for now. Turn the strength up. There we go. Kind of clean things up. I kind of want to keep some of this curvature, some of these hills over here, but I think it's okay if we don't do it in this first tile. I think this first tile can be kind of flat just to make this grid system really work. That is eating up into our money really fast. The landscaping tool is super expensive. That should give us a little bit of room to build a couple more blocks out here, or at least on this side. Bring this down a little bit. So I don't want to build it where the road's going to start curving up that hill just yet. But I do want to make way for future expansion, so. This looks like that'll be fine. That's not curving at all, so we're good there.
And basically, again, we're just going to keep stamping out that grid pattern, and it's going to give us a ton of traffic capacity. We shouldn't have any traffic headaches. Once we get the industry kind of on its own exit, that will really help solve some of our problems, too. And we've got a zone up there for water as well. We just come off of this pipe so that it's a little bit more in line with everything else that we're doing. All the way to the city edge there, or the pile edge with the water for now. Let's cover all that for now. And let's see where our zoning is at. We'll go ahead with the residential demand that we have. We want to meet all that need. And let's close off this block. So let's see what kind of money we have in the bank for the landscaping that we want to do over here. Ten thousand bucks. If we can at least carve out room for one more of those blocks. Looks like that'll at least get us down to the next block. Without having to curve the road too much. We'll zone off those last couple bits and then we'll check on our progress. I think we're coming up on another milestone. Which is nice. Oh, I got to zone, not zone, road off that middle avenue here. We'll fix our zoning problem that we just caused. And we'll take a look at 2800. There we go. I was wondering if it was going to let me lay that pipe before uh, <laughs> or it was going to throw me into this. So this is an exciting development already. We've unlocked our highways, cemeteries, some other stuff there too. Let me just run this one last piece of pipe and we will throw it on pause here. So again, the, the whole thing that I'm, I'm trying to build out here is a really successful uh, avenue approach. We've got that route on and off the highway. We've got big avenues kind of running around these blocks. And let me do an overhead of, of basically one of these. It, it's technically nine blocks, but um, just to kind of show you what's happening here. You have these wide avenues surrounding these uh, residential areas. And we can do the same thing with commercial, which is kind of what we're doing over here, right? But those don't all intersect with the main avenues. They intersect with the north to south avenues. They don't intersect with the east to west avenues and especially this one's important because this is our way on and off the highway and this is going to be very heavily trafficked until we can break industry off on its own one of the reasons that i'm excited about those highway uh interchanges is now that we can kind of build over here we can look at expanding up to the northeast of our town maybe build an industrial area up there and then what i wanted to do was kind of uh, high density um, residential over here. So high density residential and commercial up to the water. And then we can look at, you know, there's a nice flat spot over there we can build. This is a, a pretty flat map for the most part. Um, but one of the things that we are going to have to do is figure out what to do with all that soil. So we're going to have to buy a tile next that I can dump some of that excess soil on so we can continue to flatten out certain parts of the map. Um, but we're going to make a really successful grid out of this. Uh, I will... Um, 
basically be playing this one as we go. So I won't skip anything. This is just going to be a Let's Play series where you can watch me step by step, build everything on camera, uh, uncut. So hopefully you enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe for more City Skylines and all kinds of other great game videos. Uh, while you're at it, consider hitting that bell to get notifications because it's very easy for a small channel like mine to get lost in the shuffle. Until the next episode, though, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.